What is up my friends? My name is McKinsey and this is the continuation of my uh, 12 and 12 design to code challenge. So for those of you who do not know, uh, this is week nine of that challenge. Uh, technically it's like week 20 something because I had to put the challenge on pause, um, but I'm back at it again to finish the last four episodes. So in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to design a e-commerce type site for uh, designed resources, such as templates or uh, wireframe kits, etc. So one thing before we dive in is I am uh, forcing myself to use Sketch for this episode. Um, I normally use uh, Photoshop. I've used Photoshop for uh, over a decade now, uh, but I'm forcing myself to use Sketch just so I can learn it and get comfortable with it. Um, so if I'm a little clunky in this episode, uh, uh, please forgive me, but I'm trying to pick up all the uh, shortcuts and all that. But without further ado, let's jump on the computer and get going. All right, so let's dive in. First thing I wanna do is go and select the artboard tool. And over on the right hand side, I'm just going to select the desktop HD, uh, which is 1440 by 1024 pixels. And uh, we are going to work from here. So. Let me just rename this to um, e-commerce design and then we will get started. Okay, so a few things about this design. Um, I have already gone ahead and grabbed some assets uh, which I am going to be using for this design. Basically, they're different templates and uh, digital assets that you can use uh, for your designs. And I actually want to give a shout out to uh, pixden.com. Uh, it's P-I-X-E-D-E-N.com. Uh, that's where I grabbed all of these images. I hope they're cool with me using them. But if you need some design resources, definitely go check out this site because uh, it is a great resource. So what I'm thinking for this design is I want a banner up top. Below that, I'm thinking we'll have a navigation of some sort. And then below that, I want the star of this design, the main focus, to be on the actual resources and I want them to take up the entire viewport. So as you scale, they would grow. As you shrink, they would uh, shrink along with the viewport. So I'm just gonna get started. I'm going to go to insert shape and let's create a new shape uh, for the banner. So for the color, let's get rid of the border. I'm thinking, let's see, like a dark color, like a dark grayish bluish color. Something like that. The reason I'm doing a dark color is because I want, uh, if we take a look at these assets again, uh, you can see most of them are pretty light um, with a lot of white. I want the focus to be on these assets themselves, not on uh, the banner. So I want the banner to kind of uh, fall into the background and the assets to pop out at you. And how I plan on doing that is through color. So on top of here, Let's create some text and I'll say, uh, do pixel perfect design resources. And for this, I'm using the Proxima Nova bold font. Let's change the color to white. Uh, let's go up to type uppercase. And I want this to be big, bold and in your face. So let's uh, select that type and change the size. Do something like 65 pixels, and maybe we'll shrink the line height uh, just so it comes down a little bit. Not quite touching, but close. That looks pretty good to me. Cool. Now, what I'm thinking from here, this may be a little too dark. Let's try adding in some blue to it just slightly. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so what I was thinking is doing some sort of grayscale design uh, with a accent color to make it really pop. So uh, the main colors we're going to use are going to be a grayscale based on uh, this dark hue. And then let's uh, create this one and I'm just going to make it very, very slightly lighter. That looks pretty good. All right. So let's see for the resources, I'm going to copy this. Whoops. Copy the text. Let's see. We would probably want popular resources. Let's add some space. Let's do recent. And I also want to do a search. And it doesn't need to be nearly as large. So let's uh, shrink that down. 
And then I want to make this uppercase. So I'm going to go to type uppercase. So I'm thinking as of right now, I want all of the typography to be uh, big, bold, and all uppercase. So that looks pretty good. I'm not really digging the color. I feel like it might be maybe add in a little less blue and a little more gray. Looks pretty good. I actually kind of like that. So what I'm going to do is add that as a document color down here. And then this one, let's uh, select that document color and make it slightly lighter. Beautiful. All right, now let's bring in some of these resources. So I'm just going to select these and drag them in. So what I'll do is, let's see, let's make it four across. See, I know I need to shrink all of them down, so I'm just going to highlight all of them. Then, there we go. All right, now select all of them and make sure they fit four across. Looks pretty cool. Let's grab the other ones. Do the same. Um, I'm going to grab the artboard and just extend the length of it slightly. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm just going to duplicate some of these. That way it looks like we have a lot more, but uh, maybe I'll just select all of these actually and I can just duplicate them again. Cool. All right, so I'm going to group all of those together. Let's say uh, resources, and then I'm just going to hide that for now. Uh, the banner. I love the big bold font. Uh, maybe it could even be a little bit bigger. Then let's uh, bump up the light, line height slightly, maybe like 60. That looks pretty good. Um, but it's kind of boring, I'm not going to lie. So let's see what we can do about that. Um, I'm going to make this slightly light, lighter again, just add some more differentiation between it. I did uh, create this background pattern. So I'm going to grab that, drag it in here. So let me shrink it down. All right, so what I'm going to do is add a fill to this. Let's make the fill white. And then let's drop the opacity of this layer. So it's like you can kind of see it, but kind of not. That looks good. Now I'm going to duplicate that couple times so it goes across full width. Then let's group those and I'll say background pattern. I like this because it doesn't make it uh, just flat and boring uh, like it was before. It adds some texture to the background so I like that a lot. I think I want this slightly longer. And let's uh, just center that navigation. Cool, I like that. All right, now let's uh, bring back the resources. This whole thing, I think, needs to go down a bit. There we go. Cool. So now what I'm thinking is when you hover over one of these, you know, this uh, layout's kind of boring. What if we did something like this? What if I deleted, let's go into this, delete those three. Actually, delete this one, this one, this one. What if I made one that goes like two columns wide and two columns high. That might be pretty cool. And we could probably just do the same thing here. Something like this. Yeah, I like that a lot more. I'm just trying to uh, switch it up so it's not uh, repeating like it was. Let me put this one right here one up here and then I will just uh, switch these ones around make sure they're all in the, uh, the resources folder I'm not sure why they're not there we go something like that looks cool all right let's uh, work on this search a bit 
So I really like this because the dark gray of the um, top section uh, makes the colors and the, uh, the resources images uh, pop even more. So uh, this uh, search bar I want to work on a little bit. So I'm thinking, let's see, let's go to insert shape. Let's just do a line. And let's do something like that. Thinking this should be our highlight color, but we haven't selected a highlight color just yet. Let's uh, go and see what would look good. Probably don't want to do a red. Yellow looks pretty good. So does green and blue because they really pop off this uh, bluish, bluish gray background. Same with purple. The red vibrates a little bit, so I'm not sure I want to use that. Let's try a bluish green, like a teal color. Something like that looks pretty dope. I like that. What if we added a pop of color? Let's do shape, um, insert rectangle. Really need to learn all these uh, shortcuts. What if we did something like this? Um, and selected that. All right, let's see. Let's grab this. I'm going to add that as a document color. And then let's uh, copy this rectangle and paste it again. Then let's change that to be the document color as well. Or that highlight color. What if we just added this up top? Just for like a, a small little highlight. Yeah, I kind of like that. Looks cool. All right, so let's uh, add some more stuff to the search. So in addition to this, I actually want to like give an example of what they could search for. So maybe like um, uh, iPhone 6 Plus template or something like that. And this I don't think should be the same big bold font. Maybe regular italic or something. And let's change the color. Actually, let's just change the opacity. So it's a uh, pretty gray. Something like that looks pretty cool. Just make sure it's evenly spaced. Yeah, that looks cool. I like this. All right, so let's figure out what we want to do for the hover. What if we did something like this? Let me select this big one. Let's see, I'm gonna bring this one up top. Let's create and grab the rectangle tool, create a shape uh, to add behind it to use as a mask. And I'm going to take out the border, make it that green color, and then move it behind that shape. And let's grab both of those and uh, make it a bit larger. Something like that maybe. There we go, just bring it up on top. So I'm thinking maybe when you hover over it, it uh, grows a bit, like the scale uh, grows, maybe like 10% or something. And then, let's see, I'm gonna use this background shape as a mask. So I'm gonna go uh, right click and click mask. And then this is going to have a border radius on it. So everything is very uh, sharp with the type I've chosen, the Proxima Nova bold, um, all of the assets. It uh, Overall, this design just has very, very sharp edges. And I thought it'd be cool to differentiate the hover by adding some, some roundness to the corners. All right, so what I'm going to do is grab that image. I'm going to uh, drop the opacity a bit. That way we can put some text over it and that green color shows through. Uh, let's uh, copy this text. Yeah, that would work. Uh, copy that. And make sure to put that in the resources folder. And I'm just going to say uh, cardboard, cardboard uh, tag template. And let's make that uh, uppercase. So I'll go to type uppercase, uh, make it a bit larger. Oops. Select that font, make it a bit larger. Yeah, something like that could be cool. 
And let's make sure to align it with the edge as well. So wheat. I want to grab that background shape. I'm going to add a shadow to this. I want this shadow to be pretty big and bold. So something like that looks pretty good with a uh, 5 on the Y, 30 on the blur. Let's take a look at the opacity. Let's make it a little bit darker. Maybe bump it up to 60% alpha. That looks good. This design is mainly flat, so uh, when you hover over it, adding some dimension, having it pop out at you a bit, gives this design some depth. I like it. All right, and then one last thing we need to do, since this is obviously an e-commerce design, um, you would want a button to view the resource and then obviously have a price. So uh, let's uh, make that happen. I'm just gonna select that resource. Let's do uh, insert shape rectangle. Let's make a rectangle, remove the fill, change the color to white, and it can be a little thicker, maybe three pixels. Like that looks cool. Let's uh, duplicate that, and I'm just gonna say view resource. Type uppercase, and then make this quite a bit smaller. Maybe 20 pixels. And let's uh, center that both vertically and horizontally. And one thing I'm noticing is the button. Uh, it's very sharp again. I want it to match this, so let's add some radius to that button as well. Doesn't need to be as large. That looks pretty good. And I'm just going to duplicate this copy, and let's say, uh, I don't know how much this would be, 22 bucks, something like that might be good. Let's change the color. Let's make it that dark gray color to accent it a bit. There we go. This looks good. So with this design, when we go to code it, it's going to be pretty cool. It's going to take up the entire width of the viewport. Uh, so each design asset's image is going to be about 25%. And then once the viewport gets small enough, then we'll probably break it to like two or three columns, then uh, just one column, etc. But I really like this so far. Uh, the top is big, bold in your face. Uh, we got the main stuff right here we can filter between popular most recent or we can search for something in particular and then when we hover over something it would grow and then we would see uh, that green color and the name of it a button to view the resource as well as the price all right this looks pretty good be sure to join me next week when i go about coding this but until then have a beautiful rest of your day peace